niseme kwamba watu wengi sana wanafikiri kwamba ujuzi wa Kiingereza ni ni, uju, ni kuwa na maarifa. Mimi nitasema la. Mimi napenda na kipenda Kiswahili sana. Na mimi ni balozi wa Kiswahili sio katika hatua ya kitaifa tu hata hadika kwenye hatua ya kimataifa. Mimi naitwa Dominic Mita, um, popularly known as Mambo Leo. Uh, uh, mimi ni nimezaliwa Kajiado County, uh, sehemu inayojulikana kama Loitoktok. It's a very beautiful place uh, on the slopes of Mount Kilimanjaro. Mara nyingi watu wengi wananiuliza nini kilikuvutia kuingia kwenye sanaa na nimetoka sehemu ya ndandani sana huko. Uh, lakini lazima ni seme kwamba babangu alikuwa mwandishi. Babangu ni mwandishi. Uh, alikuwa mwandishi, ni mwalimu muda mrefu sana. Uh, mwandishi wa mashairi ya Kiswahili. Um, na nilivutiwa kidogo kwa kwa uandishi wake. Lakini nikawa najiuliza what else can I do to, to, to take it to the next level. I really wanted to, to join uh, uh, easy groups of theater and art so that I can explore I can explore uh, more of uh, my art and my talents maswala ya, ya, ya performances the first platform i i got ya yeah, 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 theater na arts ni kupitia easy easy school plays ambazo ni popular wanazita sets kwa na chimbuko la uandishi wa mashairi ya Kiswahili so i started writing um, swahili uh, swahili pieces uh, nikawa nafanya nikatengeneza genre yangu nikaita urban swahili Uh, so nazungumzia mambo ambayo yanatendeka kila siku lakini kutumia Kiswahili. Nikakuwa <coughs> na nafanya theater kama kawaida, nafanya poetry, uh, kulikuwa na kulikuwa na jukwaa <laughs> uh, tofauti tofauti ambazo zilikuwa zina zinafanywa zina hapa hapo hapo Nairobi. Kulikuwa na moja pale Aga Canwalk. Uh, tulikuwa tunafanyaga wakati fulani kila Jumapili. So zikawa zina zinanikuza lakini baadaye nikaja kuona labda naweza fanya kitu bora zaidi nika nikajua umuhimu wa kufanya kazi na wasanii wengine nika nikawa nazungumza na na jamaa mmoja wa Tanzania anaitwa Mrisho Mpoto Mrisho Mpoto ni msanii mkubwa kila mtu anamjua kwenye masuala ya mashairi na uigizaji e, na nye ma, mambo ya utamaduni na nikavutiwa kweli na kazi yake na nikawa najiuliza huyu jamaa mbona mimi natamani nimuone sisi nikawa namtafuta kwenye simu kwenye mitandao ya kijamii ah na nikaenda tukafanya tuka kazi na yeye kule Dar es Salaam Kinondoni kwa miaka mitatu nikawa nafanya maigizo nikapata nafasi ya kwenda kwenye majukwaa makubwa kama Zanzibar International Film Festival ambao tulikuwa tuna stage uh, play moja ambayo inajulikana kama Africa Kills Hassan bila shaka ni ile barua ambayo ilikuwa adapted na Ken Saruiwa Uh, nika, nikaenda pia kwenye matamasha kama ya Baimba Festival kule Uganda baada ya matamasha makubwa zaidi hapa Afrika kwenye masuala ya utamaduni, uigizaji na mambo kama hayo so so pole pole nikaanza kuelewa umuhimu wa, wa kuwa msanii lakini nikakumbuka nikawa najiuliza kila wakati nini naweza fanya kubadilisha ile hali ya, ya sanaa mimi nilipozaliwa so kila siku japokuwa na toka nafanya mengi bado nikawa najiuliza nini naweza fanya to change the current situation of young people in my county and in my, my locality so nikaanza kutumia sana yangu kuzungumzia masuala ya afya ya uzazi nikaanza kutumia sana yangu kuzungumzia masuala ya 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 ya, ya kwa kisha kwamba vijana wanajihusisha kwenye masuala ya uongozi masuala ya usimamizi masuala ya governance So, nikaona natumia ati yangu ku, kuzungumzia pamo ma, mambo tofauti. Nikanifungulia milango kuongea na watu wa nchi tofauti. Nikashiriki katika conferences tofauti duniani, nimetembea Malaysia kwenye kwenye conference moja kubwa sana ya masuala ya uh, ndoa za watoto. Nikapata nafasi ya kuchaguliwa kama balozi wa vijana ulimwenguni kupitia mradi wa, wa wa PPG kule Marekani. Nikaenda kule kufura very powerful exchange program kuna status quo ya kwamba young people cannot offer much but uh, I, i i i i have to say that young people can offer a lot just that uh, young people have been sidelined uh, we have a very very negative notion uh, about young people that they can't give much 
but I, I want to challenge that notion uh, and uh, that, that gave me a huge drive because as an artist, as a performer, as, as, as a writer, as a creative, I thought we have to get physical platforms of engaging young people, May, maybe through art, maybe through fashion, maybe through music. So, so I really thought that as an artist and as a young person, I can create a physical platform. So that is why I came up with Kaleito Festival. So Kaleito Festival is a, is a platform for young people to talk about anything that is going on in, in, in our core communities, but through art, through fashion, through music. Currently, we have a lot of people who are consuming online content. So I, I thought now we have a physical platform. Now I created an online platform, which is the only uh, uh, online TV in Kajiado County, which is Kajiado TV. So now young people got another platform to engage online, to, to engage with the uh, policy makers, to engage with the people in leadership, and to engage with important stakeholders on different issues. So that is the main main uh, objective of our platforms, both Kaleto Festival and Kajero TV. We, we want to, to, to create meaningful conversations that talk about uh, societal pullbacks at, at the community level. So atuzungumzi tu mti, tunazungumzia mzizi ni upi. So sana ilinipanulia mipaka sana na nasama kwamba chochote kile ambacho nimefanya, chochote kile ambacho ninapanga kufanya. Chimbo lake, chimbuko lake, sana ukiniulia.